So I keep screwing up and uh, have to readjust my drawing little by little, looking at the negative spaces going on and, and the angles, uh, just because of the, the sort of method that I'm, I'm using with my sketch pad here. It makes it a little more difficult to measure things out when, say, you're not using an easel and, and have a reference right in front of you, right beside. Even if you're sketching in your sketch pad from reference, typically you want to situate your magazine, what you have to draw, as close to possible as where you're drawing. It'll make it a lot easier for you. If uh, you're not used to doing it, you'll definitely find that advantageous once you settle into getting your reference real close to your, your artwork so that you can go back and forth. Part of the problem people have drawing in sketch pads versus say life drawing classes where you have a uh, easel in front of you is that your brain sort of switches back and forth between uh, measuring things out and stuff uh, logically instead of just automatically recognizing it from what you're looking at. It makes it a lot easier to go back and forth between your drawing and the reference, your drawing and the reference. You get in the habit of going back and forth and checking. And that's your brain switching back and forth between what it's seeing, it's taking in and recognizing and putting it on the paper versus, say, if you're looking up at something somewhere else and then you've got to resituate and you've totally lost the image by the time you get to your paper, so you start thinking about where to place it, you know, logically, okay, I know I, I need to do this, or you start just building things from, from what you know about drawing, you know, the things that you've learned instead of, instead of just what you instantly recognize. And that's a lot of what throws drawings off is uh, what you think you know about things versus, uh, you know, if you really want a really accurate drawing, Learning how to do things quickly and fast from life or from your reference, switching back and forth, that's basically what you're training your brain to do. So I wanted to point out, like I say the one line leads into another line, the whole rhythm line the concept that I'm always talking about, just the energy of the body, you know, I'm looking at the body as a spring, how it's situated and stuff. And say I'm getting, drawing things a little off kilter and it's not working out correctly and I need to correct what I'm doing a little bit. I'm gonna to have to use my eraser eventually. But instead of logically like ignoring your reference and uh, just saying okay this line's here and it needs to be down here further and, and drawing one line in correlation to what would be that same line in the wrong spot, say this line's here and I want it down here. I don't look at this line to this line I look at how this line originally, when I drew that line, correlated with a different line, say this line. So as I'm drawing and say, you know, I started from a different point and I got that line down again, when I go to transfer this line, I'm looking at it as compared to the line that it correlates to rhythmically rather than just trying to logically place it, okay, it needs to be a little lower and, and, you know, further left than this line. You need to learn to, like, ignore certain things and learn how to see correctly when you're drawing. Don't, don't see, like, logically or mathematically or something. You need to, like, realize that the, the rhythms involved and what's going on is a lot more important than just logically thinking out how you're placing things. You need to just ignore your roughs. That's the whole point of the roughs. You need to see through them just like Patch Adams. Ignore even when you're going over your roughs and, and finishing up. You still need to remain loose enough that you're not a slave to the roughs. You need to just draw, you know, if you, something needs to be a little further over or further up, you can just sort of use the roughs as a little bit of a guide so you know what's going on and where things are placed, but you can just totally ignore it and say if this leg was way too far to the right, I could, when I go in with my darker pencil, I could just draw it over to the left and just totally ignore the roughs. You need to always do that. You need to learn there's a process involved. 